Hello viewers, you're watching Public TV English. We bring you the major updates today. Industrialist Ratan Tata, Chairman Emeritus of Tata Sons, passed away at the age of 86 at the Breach Candy Hospital in Mumbai on Wednesday night. The mortal remains draped in the national flag were brought to the NCPA launch at Mumbai's Nariman Point on Thursday morning to allow the masses to pay their last respects before the funeral ceremony. A large crowd gathered at the NCPA launch to pay their last respects. A police band also performed at the funeral procession music with trumpets and drums. Union Home Minister Amit Shah attended the last rituals of the veteran industrialists on behalf of the Government of India. Maharashtra Government has declared one day of mourning. Ratan Tata's funeral will be conducted with all state honours, the Maharashtra Chief Minister's office said. From the Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Chief Ministers of almost every state have condoled the demise of the icon. The Chief Minister Sidramaya-led cabinet on Thursday decided to hand over the probe into alleged irregularities in medical purchases during the COVID-19 pandemic to a special investigation team. It was also decided that the Cabinet Subcommittee will look into the issue. On August 25, 2023, a Judicial Committee under retired Judge Michael was formed to investigate the COVID-19 irregularities. The committee submitted an interim report on August 31, 2024 in 11 volumes after going through 55,000 files. Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived at Vietnam in Laos on Thursday. The PM will be attending the 21st Asian India and the 19th East Asia summits. Upon arrival, PM Modi was accorded a ceremonial guard of Honor. The Prime Minister will participate in the 21st Asian India and the 19th East Asia Summit. Prime Minister Modi is expected to hold various bilateral meetings on the margins of the Asian India Summit and the East Asia Summit. Hurricane Milton has made the landfall as the dangerous Category 3 storm near Siesta Key on Florida's central west coast. The hurricane had sustained winds of 120 miles per hour at the landfall. However, its strength diminished as it moved inland. After landfall, Milton will continue across Florida while rapidly weakening after losing the fuel of the warm Gulf waters. Milton will exit into the Atlantic Ocean and transition into a tropical storm on Thursday. Spanish tennis legend Rafael Nadal on Thursday announced that he will retire after Davis Cup final in November. Nadal is a 22-time Grand Slam champion. He has won a record 14 French Open titles. The 38-year-old player in a video said, It has been difficult here, especially the last two.